guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today, guys? <laughs> today, we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Selling, what is our, the, what is our topic for today? Our topic for today is, do you feel secure in your career in selling? Do you feel like, hey, man, it's kind of tough. It's kind of rough. I don't know if I can do this. Do you feel like quitting before the miracle? I'm gonna tell you what, guys. I've been in sales a long time. I've seen, I've worked door to door, business to business, over the phone, and I'm gonna take, tell you it's tough. It can be rough. It can be exciting, but a lot of times, this perseverance makes all the difference in the world. You got to learn how to have a thick skin. That means you got to be able to talk to different types of people, and you have to deal with rejection. So if you're a salesperson and if you're trying to learn how to deal with customers and people and you're not always happy. Maybe you got some good days, bad days, some sad days, or maybe you just feel frustrated. Should you give up? Don't give up. Selling is wonderful. You just got to do yourself a favor. You got to learn how to roll with the punches. See, some people, they got to think they got to talk to somebody 24 seven. I don't talk to people all the time. I talk to people periodically. And when I do, I give them my information. I sell my products. I sell my services. And I go to the next customer. But one thing I've learned is I don't give up. I don't give up. And sometimes, what I mean by that is, sometimes if the writing's on the wall and the company, you're not making no money. And you say, dang, maybe I could sell something else. Give it a try. Go see if something else is out there. Because selling and being able to make money it makes a difference, guys. Not everybody can be a salesperson. Not everybody wants to be a salesperson. But if you've got the gumption and the where to and the want to be a salesperson, I say give it a try. Yes, it can be tough. It can be overwhelming sometimes. But most of the time, it's pretty doggone good. And we make this magic thing called commission. So if you get a chance to work on commission, that means you get paid based on your effort and how hard you work and how many people you close and how many people you talk to. So what do we have to do? We have to get out there and do our job. We have to get out there and work. We have to talk to people, but we can't be afraid. We can't give up. And like I said, guys, it's it's a numbers game. It can be really fun. I've met so many nice people. I have, really have. And I've met some jerks too, but most of the times those jerks ended up being nice to me after I had a conversation with them. So what I'm sharing with you guys is selling and being happy and being successful. It goes hand in hand, but you have to have it in between your own two eyes. You have to say, well, what can I do to be the best that I can be? You have to study. You have to learn the art of selling. I've got close to a thousand videos on everything there is to know about selling, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And the key to success is, guys, it's not gonna be easy every single time. Sometimes it's gonna be really rough, but it's all about your attitude. And are you gonna quit before the miracle? I don't think so. We gotta get out there. We've gotta do our job. We gotta talk to people. We gotta pick up that heavy phone. So if you're a salesperson and you're giving it a shot, you're green and growing. You're not ripe and rotting. You're wanting to be successful. So what do we have to do? Everything in our power that we learn about our selling career. Learn about techniques on how to talk to people, how to close people, how to ask good questions, how to be nice to people. And we have to learn that success happens only if you work your butt off and work smart and you gotta ask for the order. So go out there and sell something. Selling. Are you happy? Do you want to be happy? Do you think you deserve to be happy? I don't know, guys. It's all up to you. Some people have different ways of being happy. But for me, what's happy is when the customer says, I'll go ahead and take it. Okay. All right.